Okay. <laughs> so I have some explaining to do. So, first things first. The last spider bot was... Let me get it on the map here. It was right here on this big building. Uh, it was not hard at all to find once I googled it and knew where it was. But for whatever the reason, even though it was on this building, in perfectly visible sight, and it was giving off the big purple circle, it was giving off the orb, I still didn't see it. <laughs> I finally found it. And then I decided, you know what? I'm going to stream it. I'm going to stream however this ends. So, I began my live stream. It was halfway through this live stream that I realized that my headset was muted. And I only realized that because Christy happened to be watching and informed me. So, I decided to restart the live stream. And I dedicated it to Christy because she saved the stream. And then, it was halfway through that stream when I realized I was still muted. <laughs> my headset was not the only thing muted. The controller itself was too. So I had a second stream where I did pretty much everything and it was still unhearable. However, the first live stream was much more important to stop because we got all the way to the point of finishing the spider bot side quest like we were about to do whatever it is that finishes it but before we do that because i feel like this is going to be a short stream either way i think it could be fun to go through all of the spider bots and kind of rank them uh i should i give them all a number should i give them uh, okay I will rate them by number, because I don't want to list them out. That would take forever. So, we're going to start with the newest one. We're going to go in backwards order, which is Spider Monkey Spider Bot. It looks pretty cool, but honestly, it's just a normal Spider-Man Spider Bot with a monkey tail holding a banana, which I think is cool. I like that the banana moves. But it doesn't look monkey enough. He needs monkey ears or something. Then we have the Black Cat Noir suit, which is basically just a white spider bot with a cat drawn on it, which doesn't look uncool. I don't dislike it, but it, there's nothing super special about it. Then we have the Future Foundation suit. I think this one looks better than the Black Cat suit. They look pretty similar, honestly, but this one's improved because it has cooler designs with the black. It's still kind of basic itself, though. Then you have the Flipside Spider Bot suit. I have no idea who this is referencing, and also it's not a suit. It's just a bot. But, nonetheless, it does look pretty cool to me, and the inverted colors does make it set, set apart from... Things like the fucking spider monkey suit. <laughs> Christy apparently does not like how the tail moves, but I I'm fascinated by it. So, I think that the best spider bots, in my opinion, are probably the ones themed around the villains. And by that token, this vulture spider bot does look pretty cool. I I'll say, of the villains, this is probably one of the lamer looking ones even though it is pretty awesome but look at it it's mostly just green with wings and a beak so then we have the mongaverse spider bot i do like the cell shading on this i, I like that they implemented that i also don't like the jiggle physics of the backpack this is the one that bugs me christy i don't know why i don't like how it looks Oh, I should give these a number. Um, so I will give this one a three. I'll give this one a two. This this one's getting closer. This one's getting a five. Y you know what? I'll also give this one a five. This one gets a seven. I like this. This I like. I'm thinking a four. 
I don't hate how... It... Oh, wait, I just noticed the bandages. All right, that is going to up it a little bit. We're going to give it a five. And I, I like that little detail. Ah, uh, Spider UK. Not a ton going on with this one. I, I'm just going to give it a five. Not super cool looking. Classic spider bot. It looks like a spider bot. I will give it a five. It's, it's a spider bot, all right. Okay, this one looks kind of cool to me. Maybe it's the red underneath. Maybe it's the cool design on the eyes. I don't know, but I do kind of like this one. This one gets a seven. And shocker. Shocker looks cool. Look, I acknowledge it's just a spider bot with Shocker's colors on it, but I don't care. I like Shocker. I like him a lot. This is getting an eight. <laughs> eh, I mean, I like the collar. There are some good designs on this. I'll give it a four, but it's not all that cool looking. I'm going to be honest. Secret Wars? The Secret Wars suit does not look bad when translated into a spider bot. It, it doesn't have the same color clashing problem that the actual suit has, in my opinion. I, I actually like this a lot. Six. I'll give it a four. It looks okay. Now here's where my bias comes in. I really like this suit. because God himself is trying to ruin this stream. Uh, but I really like this suit, and I like how it looks. I like the glow effect that's going on. Oh, but it's not really glowing on the spider part. That's going to deduct some points. You were going to be a six, but now you're a five. Okay, spider bunk <laughs> look kind of sick. Did I just say spider bunk look kind of sick? Spider Punks looks kind of sick. I like the spikes. I like the stickers and the buttons and such. This is not bad looking at all. Seven. Ah, a Miles one. Yeah, th th I've been giving the generic Spider Bots low scores. And even though this is Miles' theme, this is just a generic Spider Bot as well. So I'm, I'm giving it like a five. Spider Girl, it, it basically looks like a normal spider bot, but with a bigger spider. I'll give it a 5.5, because I do actually really like how the spider looks on the thorax. Okay, this one looks kind of cool. I like that the metal quality is different on this one from the others. Honestly, I really like this. I'm, I'm giving it an 8. Right up there with Shocker. Mr. Negative, I, I even said this when we first got it. I like the glow effect, but it's just another black and white spider bot. Like, you couldn't even give him, like, a tie or a little sword on his back or, I don't know, anything. It just, it just kind of looks generic. Also, Christy comments, oh yeah, because female spiders are bigger than male spiders. I wonder if that's why the spider on the back is bigger. Huh. I wonder if that's intentional. This is the Spider-Woman one, and even though I don't love Spider-Woman Jessica Drew as a character, I do quite like this spider bot. I like that it has the web wings, although I imagine moving, those would probably just rip. Uh, I like the logo on the back. I, I, I think this is a well-designed one, and really, like, Mr. Negative should take some notes on how to represent a character with a spider bot, because this one kind of nails it. Seven. Spider armor? Uh, I don't dislike it. It's very sleek. This looks like something, like, this would be the expensive one to buy from a store. Like, they'd use actual gold and get you to spend the big money. Uh, I'll say six. It's fine. 10 out of 10. How could I not? Suspenders on the back. I would have liked the thorax to be a slightly different color, honestly. But I do really like this face. This face is worth a 10 out of 10. And the bow tie moves. 
incredible. 10 out of 10 for JJ. This is the coolest goddamn thing I've ever seen in my life. Cool spider logo on the back. A unique metal is being used here too. It's not as shiny as some of the others. And there's a fucking skull on fire. 10 out of 10. What what else can I say? This is probably one of the best ones. Potentially the best directly Spider-Man one. Spider-Man Noir is a black spider bot in a fedora with some cool effects. Honestly, I, I want to say that this is generic, but I think that the cool texturing and the fedora saved it. And you know I'm a sucker for f fedoras, Chad. I love me a good fedora, so... I'm going to give it a 7.5. And the point five, solely for Fedora. Oh, we have the Across the Spider-Verse suit. So I guess all the Spider-Verse ones are going to have that effect to them. Um, Honestly, I'm going to give this one a 5, too. I don't think it looks all that cool. I like the texture effect, but that's not enough to save this one. This one does not have a fedora. This one does. All right, into the Spider-Verse. Ah, oh, basically the same as this one. Although, the webbing does actually add to it for me. Yeah, this looks better to me almost specifically because of the webbing. I will give this one a six. Electro-proof suit? Ah. Uh, now here's the thing. By all accounts, this is a good representation of that suit. But I don't care about that suit. And therefore, I don't care about the spider bot. It looks pretty good. I'll give it a five. Nine out of I won't do that. Because I'm saving that for the other Mysterio. <laughs> but this one does look really cool, and I like the texturing on it. This this actually has a lot going on. Like, look. The thorax has these lines on it. The legs also have those lines. It's reflecting the city. There's that cool pattern. You can see a bit of the cape. It's a good one. Dusk? This gets a two. This is basically just a black spider bot. We've seen so many of these now. Sensational Spider-Man. I don't remember what score I gave Spider-Girl, but I give this one the same score, because it looks almost exactly the same to me. It's basically just a normal Spider-Bot with a bigger spider. Well, Rhino's coming in with a 10 out of 10 as well. I mean, look at this. It doesn't even look like a spider anymore. It just looks like some creepy, crawly monster. Same, same with the fucking ghost spider one, but... They went all out with this, and, and they played with the metal texturing, which I like. I, I, I think this is a good one. 10 out of 10. One of the best ones. Iron Spider Suit actually looks a lot better than I thought it would. And I like that the, the Waldos are represented with the golden legs. I like this a lot. Uh, seven. Ten out of ten. Ten out of goddamn ten. What did you think I was going to give it? What did you think was going to happen here with, with me being the Mysterio fanboy and this one having so many little details? Like, look at his ass! You can barely see them, and I can't get a good shot of them. But those are the fucking eyeballs on his jacket. Represented on his ass. You can see his cool cape represented. You can see the little eyeballs. He's got armor on. This is a cool looking thing. And it's all brought together with the jiggly skull. Look at that jiggly skull. It even changes colors as it moves. Like, it becomes more visible and less detailed as you just kind of look at it. Like, look, now it's in silhouette, and now it's not. This is a cool spider bot. 10 out of 10. Probably my favorite one in the entire game right here. And yes, I'm biased. Superior spider bot? 
I don't know, this is looking kind of inferior to me. Don't get me wrong, it's not bad looking, but again, it just looks like, like if you handed me this and said, this is about Spider-Man, I'd be like, oh, this is just a Spider-Man Spider-Bot. It doesn't really stand out as different to me in that many ways. Whereas with the Iron Spider suit, like if you hand me this, I'm not gonna go, oh, this is Spider-Man, I'm gonna go, oh, Iron Spider. Yeah, see, they kind of covered it here. Like, this would have been another generic Spider-Bot, but then they gave this looking at all. Not the one I'd want to own, but it is pretty cool. Arachnido Jr. This kind of looks like 2099 to me, only with slightly faded colors. It's not a bad one though. I'll give it a I'll give it a 5. I speaking of that. Look, I know some people are about to hate me, but they really a hood would have gone such a far away with this spider bot. I will say color scheme wise, this one's pretty unique. Like there aren't a ton of pink ones as far as I can tell. So I'll give it some extra points for that. But I'm sorry, man, this design, I love Gwyn, I love the colors, but there's not a ton going on with the design here. I will give it a six. It gets one extra point because I like the colors. And also, the, the eyes shouldn't have blue in them like that. I, I feel like they should be white. Okay, this Prowler one looks kind of cool. I like this a lot. You got the big logo, the color scheme is working for it. It doesn't have a ton of unique features to it, but there's something about it that just looks cool. I'm giving it a seven. Scorpion, you know, I, I might, mm, I can't tell which one, here's the thing. I do like this, but I can't tell if I like it better or worse than Vulture. I can't remember what score I gave Vulture, but I think this one is probably just one above it, because it's a little more detailed than Vulture's. Penny Parker Spider-Bot. I like this a lot. It looks a lot like the robot from the movie. You got the stickers, you got some fine details. There's actual writing there. That's kind of neat. Also, I like that the left legs are labeled with L's. At least I think they're L's. I don't see R's on this side, so maybe it's not to label your, your lefts and rights, but I do actually really like this one. Eight. Ah, uh, spider ham. Now, if you remove those ears and nose, you can't even tell that this is about Spider-Ham, but they avoided the problem they had with Spider-Monkey. They made sure you could tell this was a pig, and honestly, because of that, it's one of the cooler looking ones. I give it a seven. Also, the nose jiggles. There's something about that I both despise and love. Spider-Man 2099. It's a little darker than I usually expect Miguel's suit to be. Though, I do appreciate the spikes on the front. Don't think that I am not seeing that and appreciating that, because I do. I appreciate that muchly. That's right, I made up a word. Muchly. I'm gonna say six. I I'm putting it around the same place that Spider-Gwen is. It's fine looking, it's just not that cool to me. And that is all the spider bots. We've ranked each one. So after you get the final spider bot, Genki will text you and be like, oh, I'm finding a code on these. There's, there's an address. And that address is right over there. I got this, clear out. So now we can actually see the ending of this. I saw the very beginning. I saw the name of a character it features and while everything was fucking up, I decided to Google who they were, because I don't actually know. <laughs> but we will...
play that cutscene in just a second. I gotta pick a suit. What is a good suit to be wearing during a cutscene? Uh, you know what? I never did wear this costume on stream, even though I said I was gonna. So, let's use this one. Someone in the chat requested this, so here you go. The city knows how to handle that. Alright, show me your secret Spider-Bot mission. Genki, you seeing this? Bro, what the hell is happening? <laughs> Look at this, a spider hero. We're all saved. Hey there, Delilah. Um, Welcome to New York I, City. Who are you? Me? I'm just a bartender who does favors for people every now and so then. So it is the bar but with I've no name. I've rogue spider bots are dangerous and bad for business. At least I think it is. Your hands. Hey! Hey, those were mine! Thank you, Spider-Man. We can always count on you to do the right thing. You're welcome. And if Miguel comes looking for these, tell him finders keepers. Wait, who's Miguel? <laughs> what the hell was that? I, uh, wish I knew. If only there were a movie about it. So, that character was Delilah. Uh, apparently, she is commonly the bar... The bar, uh... Why was I blanking on that word? The barkeeper. <laughs> I was about to say the bar holder. <laughs> I am the bar holder! But yeah, uh, she is typically the barkeeper of the bar with no name, which is essentially the bar where all the villains go and hang out. Uh, Christy says, so how do you do spider bot missions now? Well, you can't anymore. We finished them. But can I still look at them or did she take them? Oh, I can still look at them. So I guess her taking them was just a, a symbolic thing. <laughs> you know, I googled the character and then X'd it off, but essentially she appears to be an assassin? Commonly a Spider-Man villain? I don't know a ton about her, I gotta be honest. There, there are some characters I know a lot about. Not all of them. So, here's a little bit about her from the Spider, uh, the Spider-Man Weekly. Weekly? Come on, Neil, Jesus. The Spider-Man Wiki. After Spider-Man has collected all the Spider-Bots, uh, you can find her in a portal. She opens a briefcase, which collects them all. Behind the scenes, the porter, portal she first appeared through was seen in Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. In Marvel Comics, there is another version of Delilah. Let's click that and learn about that version a little bit. Delilah Earth 616. Delilah was a highly skilled assassin who came under the employ of the new Rose Jacob Conover. During one of many missions, crime boss, gang wars, she first came into contact with Spider-Man. When she attempted to assassinate the husband of his employer, Shirley, Spider-Man was employed by a, a, a man named Shirley, or a lady named Shirley. It does say husband, so I don't know either way. Uh, when the Black Tarantula first involved himself in the gang war, Delilah attempted to kill his super strong henchman, El Uno but was overwhelmed by his power. The rematch threw... Oh, the me... Fuck, come on, Neil. The rematch, though, was a firm win for Delilah, with El Uno's head being mailed back to the Black Tarantula. Ugh. So it appears Delilah is an assassin of some sort? That's pretty much all I know about that character, I gotta be honest. But... 
that is a ranking of all the spider bots and the end of the spider bot mission. I hope you guys enjoyed this very short and very troublesome stream. Took us three tries to make this happen. But yeah, this is probably one of the last videos I'll be doing on Spider-Man 2 in a while. I have been thinking about doing a hard mode run. Specifically an ultimate mode run. I don't want to, because this game was already hard. But I might be willing to. And when the new boss rush thing comes out that they're talking about, the, the chapter select, we will be fighting every single boss one after another. So there are more Spider-Man 2 videos on the way. But just know, the series is kind of done now, and this is kind of an epilogue. Until me and Skylar play it, they're going to be kind of kind of sprastic and not really coming out as often. But don't worry, there are other games on the way to take Spider-Man's place. I've been thinking about playing Corpse Party. We will be playing the Magnificent Frog Detective in the near future. And we'll be returning to uh, Star Wars Jedi Survivor. So... I will see you guys in those videos, and I hope you enjoyed the shorter one. And remember, the Simeon nests suck. I'm going to have to do them for 100% completion, but just know, they fucking suck. Later.